Hi there, welcome to the short and to the point video on Ipotropium. This video will cover everything you need to know. How and when to use Ipotropium, what is the correct dose, but also what are possible side effects or concerns when using Ipotropium. We will cover all of that and many more. I also made an in-depth video suitable for medical students or medical professionals. You can find that one in the description. Feel free to subscribe and let's get started. First of all, a little disclaimer. The video is meant purely informational and this is not medical advice. If you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. The generic name of this medication is Ipotropium, what is also known under several brand names like Atrovent, Apraxia, Apovent and Rinatec and is available in several forms like those aerosols, nebulizers and inhalation powders. When can you use it? It's used to um, alleviate breathlessness and asthma or in COPD and is also used before lung function tests. How can you use it? You always inhale it through the lungs with an inhalator and within 15 minutes after inhalation you will, uh, it will alleviate your symptoms and this will be working for 3 to 8 hours. How long can you keep using it? As long as your doctor prescribes it and advises it to you. When you use it for asthma, only use it when you have episodes of breathlessness. But when you use it in the case of COPD, use it every day at fixed times. This way you keep a maintenance level of the medication, which will help you to have less symptoms. Regarding safety, Ipotropium is very safe to use. You can uh, use it while driving. You can also combine it with little amounts of alcohol and with any type of food without restrictions. What would be the correct dose? If you want to use Ipotropium in maintenance treatment for asthma or COPD, and you're an adult or a child older than six years um, and you want to use aerosols use 40 micrograms three to four times a day if you want to use inhalation powder use 40 micrograms three to four times a day and when you use a, want to use a nebulizer you can use 250 to 500 micrograms three to four times a day for children from six to 12 years you can only use nebulizers 250 micrograms you give them one puff and repeat uh, within five minutes if they still have complaints. And you can do this maximally four times, so they have a dose of 1,000 micrograms per episode of breathlessness. When you want to use ipotropium and uh, acute asthma exacerbations in adults and children older than 12 years, always use a nebulizer of 500 micrograms. Give them one puff and see what the symptoms are. If they uh, need more, repeat it within five minutes and you can do this maximally eight times, so you have 2,000 micrograms. For children from 6 to 12 years, use the nebulizer of 250 micrograms, and again, repeat within five minutes if necessary, and you can do this maximally four times, so 1,000 micrograms. Hypertropium also has some side effects. 1 to 10% of all people that use it get headaches, dizziness, dry mouth, and cough, throat irritation or nausea and uncommonly less than 1% of all people gets a forced heartbeat, palpitations, some breathlessness, edema, a dry throat, itching, skin rash, probably uh, an allergic reaction, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, blurred vision or pain in the eyes. There are some more side effects and you can find them in your prescription if you think you might be experiencing a side effect, always contact your doctor to see if your dose needs to be adapted or maybe you should switch medications. Then when you, you want to use ipotropium in pregnancy, there's insufficient research done, so it's not known if there's any possible harm for you or the baby, and therefore you should only use it on strict indication and avoid it if possible. For breastfeeding, it's safe to use and will not harm the baby, therefore you can use it as prescribed. So in a nutshell, this was my video about ipotropium. If you're looking for more details, check out my in-depth video in the description, or otherwise ask some questions in the comment section. Feel free to subscribe for more upcoming videos, and see you next time. Thank you for watching.